Hello everyone, I am Ray and I'm a Filipino studying in Japan. And for this year 2023, I was chosen as one of the DLC AI residents. Yay! Hey, I'm Anna. I come from Spain and I'm a DLC AI resident 2023. Hello, my name is Conrad and I'm this year's DLC AI resident. Mabuhay! I am Lisa Ray Pinela from the Philippines and island nation in Southeast Asia. I was born and raised in a small agricultural town beside the ocean and was blessed to have nurtured a deep love for the land and the sea during my formative years. I pursued a bachelor's and master's degree in computer science and found that my passion lies in applying computer vision methods to analyzing animal behavior. I spent years on animal research projects on fish and monkey tracking and behavior analysis. I got an advanced diving license to collect underwater data on reef fishes and observe how my target species, the Plectroglyphidodon lacrimatus, interacts with its neighbor. Currently, my professors and I are working on a non-invasive monkey tracking method for non-static camera setups in Dubai, which is genuinely challenging but also exciting for me because I got to work mostly with Japanese macaques. I am applying for this residency to learn and gain more self-confidence in publishing code online and being an active contributor in an open source community. I want to be a next generation leader because of three things. I want to use this platform to inspire and remind people that the world is a system of interconnected entities. When we strive for the growth of humankind, we must also strive for the development of everything around us, from plants to animals, from sea to air. I want to bring the perspective of local community issues to the global scene so we can collaborate to develop universally effective tools. Three, I want to drive more focus toward non-invasive methods of animal behavior research. It has always been a dream of mine to develop an incredible tool that is monumental to the science community, allowing us to find new and interesting discoveries that were not possible before. And with recent innovations in tracking and brain modeling, you might even develop a reliable brain model that may outperform live animal testing. So that's about it for me. Thank you for taking the time to watch my video and looking over my application. I hope to see you all soon and goodbye. Hey, my name is Ana and I'm a second year PhD student at the University of Valencia in Spain where we are studying deficits in Alzheimer's disease on the integration of social information into hippocampal memory and gram. So I would love to attend to the AA residency because ever since I've known about Deep Lab Card, it has become a, a fundamental tool for me. Uh, I knew about it because uh, I did my master thesis in a recently created lab where our funding was very limited and at least in Spain it's hard to begin. So my PA talked to me about Deep Love Card and I got obsessed about it and I, in the end I managed to, to set it up in the lab. We also had a computer cluster in the center so I could run my own trainings. In the lab where I'm currently working I showed Deep Love Card to everyone, to all my colleagues and they used to work with other expensive software such as Smart but now, now everybody uses Deep Love Card. Also I've learned a lot of Python, I am still aware of how much I, I need to learn. And also, and maybe more importantly, I would like to learn how to share my code and how to contribute to the open source community. Because I don't feel confident that my, but with my code, I don't feel it may be useful or important enough to share, and my GitHub is completely empty. And lastly, I would also like to improve my contribution to the open source community, because I believe that everybody should have access to good quality tools to do great neuroscience, no matter the funding you get. So for all of this, I would love to attend um, and join your AI residency, so hope to see you soon. Bye! Hi, my name is Conrad, and I'm last year PhD student at Lenski Institute in Warsaw, where I'm working on social buffering behavior in rats, combining electrophysiology in freely moving animals with detailed behavior analysis based on 3D post reconstruction. Growing up in a small village in eastern Poland, I always felt that I didn't have the same opportunities as kids from big cities. But even then, I was trying to learn and develop my interest in computers thanks to all the information available on the internet. This has shaped my view about access to knowledge and the importance of open access and open source. For a couple of years now, I have been heavily involved in an open science project we run, Nensky Open Lab where we conduct workshops and summer schools teaching people how to use open source tools like Bonsai, Arduino or DeepLabCAD so they are able to build and conduct their own experiments and analyze their data. I've also been involved a lot with the DeepLabCAD community, specifically helping out on the community forums, trying to solve users' problems, proposing solutions for effective analysis and sharing whatever I know about DLC and post-estimation. 
Thanks to this, I was able to spend some time working on different projects with different goals, giving me a unique experience with multiple animal models. Now, I would like to become the next DLC resident because I want to take my health a step further. Being someone very interested in data science and having some knowledge about general computer science, but not being formally trained, rather being a psychologist turned neuroscientist, I feel like I'm in a very good place to understand what an average neuroscientist studying behavior might be struggling with, wanting from a tool that would help them analyze their data. Because of this, I would like to work on my skills as data analyst and data scientist to help develop tools rather than only teach on how to use them. The residency has been overall a great experience. Uh, we could spend most of our time focused on coding and learning good practices in code-based development, try out many new cool tools and learn some theory behind it. And through this residency, we were given a deep dive on DeepLabCut and Zebra, which I think are essential methods that I can reapply to my research on monkey behavior. It was also my first time to try PyTest and work on a large scale open source library like DeepLabCut and check all its internal functions and how to document them properly, how to test them properly. I would um, like outline uh, machine learning theory, which was completely new for me. Also testing, we learned to test functions. Uh, I also learned how to uh, code in an object-oriented way and in general I learned to feel more comfortable with uh, Git and working on code development uh, as a team. Before this residency, I never thought of even contributing to the open source community on GitHub even. But this residency has helped me build my confidence and be more accepting to criticisms and be less worried about how the world would think of me and be more excited to help the world. The environment here is super friendly so and I feel more calm and um, less shy about sharing code which I think it's also like an, an essential aptitude in, in the open source world. And I really love the environment here because it's so engaging, so much so that I go to this lab every day super excited to know what's in store for the day. Of course, it wasn't only work. Geneva and Switzerland are amazing places to visit and since the lab has been very welcoming, we spent our weekends having a lot of fun visiting places, doing via paratas, rafting on the R River and doing lots of other things. It was also a very good networking opportunity and a great way of meeting people that do a lot of work for open science and try to improve it and make our lives a little easier. So for me, working with my residents has been a privilege. I'm so happy to meet them. It's been so easy and we've even lived together and it's been awesome and amazing. I think that I take from this residency two great friendships and I really hope that our, our path come across in the future. And definitely this is not the end for me. So I will be using all of the skills that I learned from this residency into contributing to the open source community and finishing my PhD. <laughs> um, actually, now, because of this residency, I'm deciding to uh, create a large library for my research work and open it up to the open source community. And also, I want to take all the knowledge and uh, everything I learned in here to Spain, both to finish my PhD studies and also to help people in my university and in, from different labs to and encourage them to start uh, to contribute and to use open source tools.